you got to think about the multiples. Look, we have something. We have a we have a bullet in the chamber. We got we got the Thanos Club, baby. We got the fucking Infinity Stones on us right now. And what's going to happen is at some point, once Rick, because look, I'm I'm gonna, I'm gonna be I'm going to be super 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 real with you guys. Okay, Richard's timing the market. Richard Hart, a Richard, Richard Lionheart, Richard Hart is timing the market. It could have been launched. It should have launched basically the last month on the 25th. It should have, it, we should have got the snapshot around that time. And then we should have around about a week ago should have had the launch of Pulse Chain. Okay. Just to give you a little information on that. Okay. It should have launched. But if we had launched Pulse Chain, what would have happened is the, the wind would have got knocked out of our sales because the whole market's fucking crashing and the pump and all the stuff, all the coolness, we would have had a, instead of us having a three, four, five month run on, on Pulse Chain, it would have been like two weeks or less. And that's it. And then we would have fucking got clapped. And then it's over. And then like, oh, we're in we're in fucking Goblin Town. So I Diet Coke would be right. Fuck for Diet Coke. No, no, no. Diet uh, Coke, Coke Zero, baby. All the way. Join the master race. Anyway. Uh, um, but no, no, but what what's going to happen? Look, we want to have a larger run in. We want to be able to like let let excess happen and let all this yield farming and all this kind of stuff. We need calm waters. Okay. Look, even look, I'm mad at it too. Like, I'm gonna be real with you. Like, I was kind of pissed off. Yeah, I was like, fuck, we could have we honestly could have launched it almost a damn near a month ago. But Richard is like, you know, he he's the way he's doing his marketing right now, the way Richard's doing his marketing right now, he wants to kind of like be able to talk shit and basically say to everybody, you see, motherfuckers, you should have listened to me. We, I launched Pulse Chain and the bottom of the bear market, which I do believe is this year, right? Uh, we have a lot of bad news coming up in the next 30 days. We got 15. We got 15 at the bottom. We got 15 days. Uh, no, I'm sorry. Um, 14 days from now on July 1st. Okay, I'm going to give you guys a little bit of inside baseball here. Okay. July 1st, okay? The quarter two numbers come out. In terms of GDP growth, if those numbers come out negative, that means we have two consecutive quarters of negative GDP growth. We are technically now in a recession. And we're like, Miguel, we're already in a recession. I, Bro, yeah, I totally agree with you guys. Like, fuck yeah, I totally. Dude, you see the price of gasoline in, over here in communist California and shit? It's like $7, dude. It's $7. I don't know where the fuck you guys are at, but like, I mean, I had some guy, I had some asshole fucking send me a picture like, hey, Miguel, my gas is $4. I was like, man, fuck you, bro. <laughs> you know, I was like, well, I was like, I'm like, <laughs> but look, okay. So when those quarter two, so we all know, like we all know shit's getting bad. The inflation's getting out of control. We've been saying this for a long time. I've been one of the few people saying that like, yo, inflation is not, is not 7%, 8%. Dude, it's like 15 to 20%. I've been saying this for the whole year, this entire year. But we all know it's a recession. But they might juice the numbers somehow so that they don't have that. But I want you to know that it's very possible. So come July 1st, the next month, it is very, very, very possible that if that number comes, if, if that number is like, G, GD Port says that we've contracted half a percent, 10% of a percent, even if as long as that number is negative, we are now technically in, in a recession. Oh no. The, the newscasters, which are the, which are the fucking fear mongers out here are going to be like, we are now in a recession. This is the lowest point. We have not seen a recession since 2008, seven or whatever the hell it is. Right. And then blah, blah, recession, this blah, blah, recession that the, the sheeple, the sheeple who watch. All these newscasters, CNN, Fox, and uh, all the rest of them and stuff. Bah, bah, recession bad. Bah, bah, 401k must sell. Bah, bah. Like, there's a recession? I guess this is a good time to sell. <laughs> well, instead of thinking, like, you know what I'm saying? Like, the guys are like, I should check my 401k. I should sell now. It's a recession. I think it's going to go down. And then, bah. The rest of everybody fucking starts selling all these equities. And then that cra- and then even if the smart money is like, oh no, no, I'm not selling right now. The the fucking stocks are start going to the fucking floor. No. And the markets will go down. And because of that, people in, in the crypto market will start freaking out too, because then it's like, you know, we have a lot, you know, we have a lot of generations in this. We you know we got the we got the we got the zoomers, we got the millennials, we got the Xers and the boomers, right? Shout out millennials. I'll be out here, baby. But 
the Xers and the Boomers have, you know, stock portfolios. And shame on any millennials that have stock portfolios. Shame on y'all. But what what's going to what's what's going to happen is those guys are going to get freaked out and start selling. And on top of that, some people are going to be like, oh, my God, this really is a recession. Holy shit. I, and the guys in crypto are going to be like, I should drum up in cash. Fuck, I didn't drum up in cash. Even some guys in Hex are probably like – because there is a lot of people in Hex. Like I, I'm, I'm not gonna call people out by name or nothing like that. I'm just keep, you know, I got, I got to keep the innocent, you know, like and the innocent protected out here. I know because a lot of hex skins are really getting their feelings, but like there's a lot of people out here, man, that are wearing Louis Vuitton, Gucci, buying cars, doing all this stuff, and didn't put any money away in the bank accounts. I ain't gonna say, I ain't gonna say names. They're probably here out here, fucking tr globe trotting across the motherfucking world and stuff like. That. Didn't put any money in their pocket. And stuff like that. Let me tell you this: all these Rolexes and stuff that I got, man. I, dude, I've only sold. I've only sold hex. Damn, you're like two. Like, what was it? I've sold it. Uh, one, two, three, four, five. I've sold hex five times since 2019. 2019. Actually, no. Technically, there's one more at the time, but I sold it for Ethereum so I could unstake hex. So I, I mean, I don't really count that one. It wasn't that much, but um, I sold five times. I sold five times. I sold forty. Wait, was it? Yeah, 41, 48, 53. And then I sold some at eight. No, no, not 18. I'm so sorry. Third, I'm sorry. I'm really going off of memory, you guys. I'm so, I apologize. This sounds kind of dumb. But 13, I sold, I sold some, I think a little bit at 13. And then I sold again at seven cents. I sold some at seven cents. And now, you know, that's, that's all in terms of purchases. That's all I've ever sold. Right. And, I've still staked out. And then even during those times, I had a lot of liquid hex come out. I've restaked quite a lot of it out up to, tw up to like, you know, I've, my, my, I didn't do a full 15s, but I, I was mostly fixing up my ladders and stuff throughout between one, I'm sorry, between uh, three years from now to uh, 12 years from now. Cause my, uh, my, uh, that the end part of my ladder was actually pretty good, but I needed to kind of fix up some stuff, even myself. Right. So I was doing a lot of that right there just to be just fully transparent with you guys. Okay. But, um, it, it's it's just it's just that it's just that sort of thing. So there's quite a lot of people that weren't doing that, on, and they were just you know spending money left and right and stuff. Didn't really put away and stuff. And then on top of that too, you know, hey, it is what it is. A lot of guys sold and then rebought back in, and the price has gone down, and they restaked it. So like I'm not shitting on people that did that because I know a lot of people. You know, some of them did actually sell at 40 cents, and they're like they bought at 18 or they bought at 22 cents, or and they restaked that hex, and now the hex has gone down, but it's staked out, so it's out of the mind. But regardless or not, they waste a lot of the capital. So. Um, it's it's just that sort of thing. We are. I personally do believe we are probably going to see a little bit lower. If I'm wrong, I, fuck yeah, fuck yeah. I'm super happy about that. Okay.